Hi de ho YouTubers. Check this out. Okay. This is a brown egg. Yeah, you can see it. From uh Buff Orfington chicken. Okay. This is a white egg. You can tell the difference, I hope. From a I don't know, whatever kind of chicken the big chicken places have. This is from the store. Okay. This is a green egg from an Aracana chicken. The insides, well, these two look the same. This one's like way paler and ickier. Okay, so why do I have a store bought egg? In the winter time, my chickens this year completely quit laying eggs. And we bought two dozen eggs at Christmas. And I still had one left over. But uh, we ran out. You can put a light bulb in your coop and let it run for, you know, several hours every evening. And they'll still lay some eggs. But in an SHTF world, that may not happen. So, I've been looking into how to store eggs for quite some time. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different methods, rubbing mineral oil and lard and stuff on them. And uh, Mother Earth News, back in 1977, did a study. And I'll give you the link. I never could get the fourth page to load, so I didn't get through the entire conclusions. But they ran, they stored eggs up in a whole bunch of different ways, ran the test for seven months, and in the end, ones kept in the refrigerator lasted the longest. Of course, again, in an SHTF world. The second was what's called water glass eggs. And it has nothing to do with a glass full of water. So, I started thinking, well, maybe I'll try that. I started looking around, and the stuff that water glass really is is called sodium silicate. And it's expensive. I found people on Amazon trying to sell a pint for, I don't know, 17 bucks. But I did happen to find in the big brown truck brought yesterday a gallon of Rutland concrete sealer. All right? What is it? Water glass. It's a hundred percent sodium silicate. A gallon for uh, it was 23 bucks a change. I think it's 23.95 or 23.50 ish. <clears throat> and it even has right here on the back label the directions for preserving eggs. Only use fresh eggs which have been wiped clean but not washed. I don't know if I could show you that. I don't wash my eggs. There's some dirt on that one. See it? We wash them right before we use them. I have a basket in the fridge that they go in. And they last a lot longer because, well, the chicken leaves a coating on here. And when you wash them, like the store bought eggs, you wash the coating off and they go bad quicker. Okay, anyhow, back to uh, our directions. Uh, wiped clean but not washed. Mix 11 parts water with one part water glass in an earthenware crock. Food grade plastic bucket. Works just as good. As long as it's not metal because metal rusts. Place eggs in solution having about 2 inches of liquid above the eggs. 1 quart of water glass. This is a gallon. 
and it's reusable, will treat about 16 dozen eggs. So this gallon should last years and years and years because, I don't know, run it through some cheesecloth, filter it out, and reuse it. So there you have it. Um, it was really hard to find this. And I contacted Rutland, you know. I said, well, where can I buy it? And he said, well, Ace Hardware has it. I called three Ace Hardwares. They were like, huh, duh, it's not in our computer. So I did happen to find it. And <clears throat> I'm going to be a little bit of an e-beggar and say that I won't give you the link, but I'll give you the link to my Amazon store on PrepperArchaeology.com. And you can buy it through there, and I don't know, it doesn't cost you any extra, but Amazon gives me a few pennies. So, okay, we'll, tr we'll uh, try it out soon, and uh, hopefully that'll, oh, I know, I was going to give you, uh, this is from uh, Store It Foods. Dot com, and they had an article, and uh, this is on water glass. Um, the end result was a solution in which, sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. Eggs would be effectively had their pores sealed, thereby sealing out oxygen and moisture. The lack of oxygen inhibited bacterial growth, preventing spoiling. It was said that fresh eggs could be kept up to two years. It might be asked, why would anyone want to keep eggs for up to two years? Well, you wouldn't. Well, most didn't. Oops, there you go. Six months to a year, however, was a practical option. In the days before large flocks and artificially enhanced daylight hours, light hanging in the coop, Hens tended to lay more eggs during the longer days of summer. With the arrival of winter and its shorter days, and it doesn't have anything to do with temperature, it has to do with the length of the day. Okay. Egg laying would often significantly decrease. Mine went to zero this year. A ready supply of stored fresh eggs would then come in most handy. It would also protect from higher prices that would often accompany decreased availability. Well, so, that's a phone book. Crud. Um, every step in canning, the cold pack method, right, is a book that I resurrected and reformatted and have it on my website at prepperarchaeology.com written by Grace Gray. It has an entire chapter on storing eggs. And let's see, the book was written, uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Grace Gray was the Associate Professor of Home Economics at Iowa State College. Maybe the world would be better if we had things like that still. The book was actually written in 1920. So, all right, you get the page up here. Okay, water glass is known as to a chemist as sodium silicate. Blah blah blah. Okay, um, I just wanted to read this one more chapter to you. Signs of a good egg. Tell you how to test your eggs. You know how to do that. Float them in water. Uh, <coughs> One gallon of water glass as purchased will make enough preservative to preserve from 75 to 100 dozen eggs. Okay, three gallons, blah, blah, blah. Cost of preserving eggs, well, that's changed. Um, the following gives the sizes of jars. A gallon jar holds 40 eggs. Uh, five gallon food safe bucket will hold 200 eggs. Um, when the eggs are to be used, remove them as desired, rinse in clean cold water and use immediately. Eggs preserved in water glass can be used for soft boiling or poaching up until November. 
Before boiling such eggs, prick a tiny hole in the large end of the shell with a needle to keep them from cracking, as the preservative seals the pores of the shell and prevents the escape of gases, which is possible in a strictly fresh egg. Okay. They are satisfactory for frying until about December. From that time until the end of the usual storage period, that is up until March, they can be used for omelets, scrambled eggs, custard cakes, and general cookery. Well, there you have it. So, yeah, um, I was looking, you know, what did I say, um, a pint. I think I found somebody trying to sell for 17 bucks. This, 23 bucks and change for a gallon. So, links below. Yeah, try it out, I guess. I'm going to. We'll get through this.